Hi guys, it's Colin from the Dynamic Beaver. I'm here today to show you how to install the Beaver Builder theme and the Beaver Builder plugin on a brand new WordPress install. So if you haven't bought the Beaver Builder plugin or the Beaver Builder theme, head on over to wpbeaverbuilder.com and buy it now. It's, it's one of the best purchases you'll ever make. Anyway, for those people that have bought the theme, I'm gonna to go to the account area and we're just going to go and download some files first just to get us started. So you'll come into your, your account area and it's going to look something like this. Uh, first thing we'll do, we'll do them in order. So we'll, we'll download the uh, Beaver Builder plugin first of all. Okay, so I've actually already downloaded these, so I'm not going to re-download them, but you get the idea. So we go to the Beaver Builder theme and we'll do the same thing there. We'll re download that, but you also need to download the Beaver Builder child theme. And the reason we have a Builder theme and a Beaver Builder child theme is that we can make changes to the uh, child theme without affecting the main theme. So if the main theme is updated in the future, it won't overwrite all the style customizations or updates we've done to the child theme. So that's the reason we've got um, two themes. It's, it's a common uh, common way to do things in WordPress these days. So now we've downloaded those files. We can we can close that tab and we can head on over to our WordPress installation. So I'm going to actually maximize this. So as you can see, we've got a, a basic uh, WordPress install here with the 2014 theme installed. This is what it looks like out of the box. We're going to make it look a lot different. So uh, I've got two tabs open here just for the convenience factor. So I'm going to head on over here and I'm already in uh, my theme area, but let's, let's just head on. That's what you're going to see when you come to your dashboard for the first time. So let's head on down to the appearance menu here and then we'll choose themes. Now from the themes menu, we're going to actually choose the add new and we're going to upload one. So the upload button is right there. We're going to click on that and then we can choose our file. And what we're going to do, we have to go to the, the, the location that we uh, saved our files. Um, so we need to save our theme files. So I'm going to choose the BB theme zip. Okay. And I'm going to upload that one first. That's the main theme. And we're going to click on install now. Let that do its stuff. It won't take very long. Okay, so that's done. We're not going to activate it. I'm going to return back to the themes page and now we're going to add the child theme. Okay, so once again, we'll do the upload theme, choose file and we'll head on over and we'll do the BB theme child dot zip this time. Click that one, open it, install now, let that upload. This time we can activate it. So we'll activate that. And as you can see, we have now have two lovely looking beavers inside our theme directory and the child theme is the one that's activated. Now if we actually go over to our front page again and have a quick look right now it's still the, the 2014 theme but, but if I refresh it by pressing F5 that's my favorite refresh way you can see that we now have a beaver builder theme not much going on there right now but you know the standard hello world um, post is there and we've got some widgets in the sidebar there. So uh, that's the theme installed. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the Beaver Builder page builder plugin. So uh, we'll go to plugins. We'll click on add new same location as we did for the themes. We'll do the upload plugin. Choose file. And we will go to the plugin. So wherever you've downloaded the plugin to is where you need to go right now. Click that. We'll upload that file. And now the plugin is uploading. That'll only take a second or two. And as soon as the plugin's done, we can activate it over here. So the plugin's now activated. One thing you will have to do is uh, you go to your settings item over here and go down to page builder. And just put your email address in here that you bought the Beaver Builder uh, plugin with. This will uh, activate the automatic uh, updates. So you just need to put your email address in there and, and then save your subscription settings. That will make sure that your plugin is updated. And the guys over at Beaver Builder do plug uh, do plugin updates very often. So you want to make sure that that's done. Anyway, that's the uh, 
Beaver Builder theme and the Beaver Builder plugin installed. So what we'll do now is we will leave it at that. We'll head on over to a new video as to set up the theme. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun.